So, again, welcome back to Senfolio. Today we're talking about Amber Oud from Ul Hermain. This is the blue edition. These are great scents, by the way. These are e inspirations, clones coming closer and sometimes with a twist. So they're bringing in or adding stuff. It might not be 100% close to the original, which is fine, but if it's in a variation and adding few twists and turns and, you know, touches a bit and then moves on forward, that's fine. It's just uh, being an addition to the fragrance community and we are enjoying this. The Amber Oud Blue Edition, again, a beautiful bottle, nice gold plated stuff. You know how they do it with a bit of details, all her main uh, logo and all that good stuff on the cap. We've got nice blue bottle here. It's, you know, it's pretty sexy looking bottle, pretty standard stuff. They already, you know, do things here pretty, the, pretty well. The, the cap is solid. The atomizer is solid. Beautiful stuff, sits on well. Now this is, you know, presentation wise, 10 on 10. I mean, nothing wrong and nothing uh, loose about these bottles here. Pretty solid, good stuff. I like what they do. Um, fragrance wise, a lot of people say, a lot of people believe that this is somehow getting closer to cloning or getting inspired by Blue de Chanel, this guy here. Now, Blue de Chanel, well, first thing first, right off the bat, let me just clear this. This is not a neck-to-neck -neck or a one-on-one -on -one cologne to Blue de Chanel. It's not. I haven't seen any clone, any fragrance cloning Blue de Chanel as a neck-to-neck, -neck, as in like 100% or even 90% or 95%. Tell me if you know. But yeah, there are aquatic fragrances. There are blue fragrances. They're nice fresh ups. Clean. Nothing wrong. Nothing against them. They do try to come close. But not close enough. Let's put it that way. Yes, it also tries uh, to come closer to this guy here. But what are the twists? What are the turns? What's the addition? What's in it that is more loud? Is it still worth it? Is it buying? In the sense that I'm gonna put a few uh, facts forward for, from, from this guy, and then you decide because, you know, if this is something you wanna take on, or, or you know, we're gonna move on with the OG, or, you know, any other blue aquatic flanker out there, or, not even not flanker, but uh, any blue aquatic fragrance out there that you wanna, you might wanna pick up Missoni, Missoni Wave, EDP or EDT, whatever you want. That's fine. Uh, you know that comes closer. There's tons of other stuff that comes closer, closer to the blue uh, line. This guy is citrusy. It is woody. It is warm, spicy. It is fresh and spicy at the same time. This is green, a bit powdery a bit balsamic and a bit smoky as well that I find it's, it's I would also say this is a little gingery lemony minty which is in the family of you know citruses but yeah that mint note it's it's there for all the good reasons again fresh on top nice burst of citruses I like this stuff. Again, this is not a one-on-one -on -one cologne to this guy, nor to EDT of this guy, neither to EDP of this guy, or nor to uh, the Parfum uh, to 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 uh, to this guy. No, it, it, it's not. Yes, it does come closer, but uh, to be honest with you. This one has its own class. There is no replacement for this as when it com compares to this or any other uh, fragrance because this is classy. This is amazing stuff here. Let me just round this up in quick few seconds. There is no match to this. If you can 
get an EDP version of this if you can, more denser, more you know intense, or get a Perform version of this. Perform is more even for more mature noses because that is, you know, it's got some nice embroxin, some some smooth uh, uh, and dense um, kind of a take. So that's more has a more character. So again, this is more like a day and night set. I would consider Perform as more as like an evening night you know, romantic situations and more like intense meetups and encounters. But this is more loud, more up, hippie, go lucky kind of a scent. Again, good for the boys, good for the night, night outs, even good for dates. That's fine. It has a bit of everything, the EDP. EDT is also fine, but obviously it, it's, it's more of a airy, more of a lighter version of Blue de Chanel. This, again, it has those notes of citruses. It, ha it is woody in the end of the day. It opens up with grapefruit. It opens up with, uh, with the notes we have, oh, top notes we have for this guy is grapefruit, lemon, pink pepper, mint. Um, lemony and minty. That's what I pick up. Grapefruit, yeah. Pink pepper, not really. I wish there was a there was a, a bit dense pepper, but no. Gingery, yes. Uh, whatever and jasmine, that's the middle notes. You will get ginger, but in a more uh, mellow, in a more uh, kind of like a, a smooth way. It's not up or high or out loud. The ginger, I wish it was because that would have been a good twist to it. Honestly, that would have... Actually, let's try this. So, I've got Azaro. Uh, this is Ginger Lover. Now, this is only ginger, by the way. Uh, I think there's only two notes in here. Ginger and Amber. If I'm not wrong, but I got to double check. But anyways, good stuff here. This is what I use for um, layering. So, Ginger note. <sighs> this is gonna be fun. I wish the ginger was loud here, man. They would have done wonders if, if that would have been the case. Let it settle. It is dense, it is intense. Ginger, it's 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 cool. Um so I'm gonna layer this up with this guy and see how that rolls by the way but before i do that let me just kind of like complete this uh the, the the breakdown um whatever is good jasmine uh, i don't get much of florals here to be honest sandalwood aluminum cedar patchouli that's base notes these are good woody notes unfortunately by the time comes when these woody notes actually pop do their job or stand out the fragrance is gone by then six hours you're done five hours you're done for like four hours you're pretty much done it's more of a, like a skin sand after four four point five hours but when because these are intense so we got vetiver in the middle then we got jasmine in the middle all right even if you ignore the mids we got sandalwood we got aluminum we got cedar and patchouli these are great combos here you know, many scents have just, just done wonders with these base notes. It's, um, it's gone, literally after like five hours. I don't think they have done anything exclusive here in, in Al Haramein. That's ginger. So when you do layers, always the, the stronger note goes first, and then you can put the lighter note on top after after a bit after like a few minutes or so but anyways uh let's see how that rolls but anyways this the longevity as i said it's not great projection yes that's loud i would say because it is a you know citrusy up um a burst of citruses up in the air everywhere kind of on your face half a cent so maybe like one or two hours Definitely up, up until one feet, one and a half feet, this would project. And I'm not surprised because I did for this 
in the in my office space uh, a couple of weeks early i got this bottle like quite some time ago but i just didn't do a review on it and not even just used it i was just sticking to my thing the tons of stuff that i haven't even sprayed on to be honest i haven't opened it up and there's tons of stuff lying behind the camera which i haven't opened it up or it's just sitting there and waiting for i don't know i gotta be more serious to this by the way sorry i gotta give more time uh, anyways um yeah man um so this is um uh, to be honest, with, with the price they have set for this, might as well just go for Missoni. Might as well just go for any other good blue aquatic fragrance. Nowadays, like most of the fragrance are pretty much hybrid. They're mixing it up and leaning towards many other directions. Um, uh, ma you know, many other uh, uh, branded now designer wares uh, for for fragrances. So. Uh, you got tons of options there with a the price point and with no twist I do get a bit of smokiness, but I don't get from uh, uh, a blue de Chanel That's quite low. I, I do get uh, ginger. That's also low. I do do not get pink pepper I wish that was high. I wish uh, Sandalwood was high. I wish cedar patchouli aluminum these notes were This is good stuff, man. This is good layering. This is good. Actually, you know what? Now it's looking like Blue de Chanel. <laughs> it's funny, man. Uh, let me just give it a... Yeah. Yeah. Now it's making sense. Come on, man. Do a better job here. I'm not saying that El Hermain does not. They have given us good fragrances, good dupes with twists and turns. Fair enough, but you know, um, well, actually, it's Helmary Al Haramain who has given us twists and turns, or Amber Oud line who has given us the exclusive line that has given us more. So that's a debate. So that's a that's a topic of discussion for for another video. Now this was Blue Edition, not the Blue exclusive, not by Al Haramain, by Amber Oud, which is a clone of uh, Perfume Somali, Leighton. This is something different, totally different. But anyways, that's what I wanted to kind of like put my nose forward to y'all. But again, no value for money, I would say. Could have been better. Might as well just stick to Blue de Chanel, to be honest. This, 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 it's nothing like this guy. This is exclusive. This is premium, good quality juice, good, you know, variation. Amazing. I like this stuff not too hard on the price pretty standard when it comes to designing wear then we've got perform it's amazing it's dark and sensey a bit um, smoky and broxen ish i, I mean all if for all the good reasons it has it, its own league and class this is more you know more nice this guy is an edp but it does not uh, act like an edp unfortunately the juice here is not dense it's not versatile it's just okay. It's just uh, like a kind of like a weaker version of Blue de Chanel. Yeah. Now I just it it just it's the same. But again, I know this is not gonna last uh, because obviously it's like even this is not too lasting. This is EDT, EDT as well. It's like what a five hour fragrance, anyways. Uh, nothing much to expect here. That's it, guys. Watch out my other Al Haramain and Amber Oud exclusive videos. I'm going to link them down in the description. There are tons of reviews that I've done of these lines. And I've got three more boxes here. Which I'm going to review and that is also coming up on my channel. So make sure you guys subscribe. Yep. That's only one way where I can actually keep on seeing you more than I normally do. Take care and I'll watch for more. Thank you.